What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be trying to get some nice northern pike here out in Bear Lake. I've actually scouted quite a decent spot for them. So you catch them pretty much every cast. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and go up to that area. It's right here. It's this area right here. It's a good spot. So what you do is you just like, you just put your boat right here and cast in here with like a, with a spinner bait is what I use. I've got the Scran Snagger, the Bruggen Reel, yeah, 11 pound fluorocarbon, and we have a hook size 4 spinner bait, and it absolutely just annihilates the pike over there, as well as you'll catch the occasional musky and bass. So that's pretty awesome. So what we're going to do is we're going to try, we're going to go over there and we are going to try to catch some nice pike. Alright everybody, we made it out here to this area. We're out right here on the map. Right here, right on the north end of Bear Lake. Starter Lake, Starter Lodge is right down there. So we're right here. Where you want, it's where you want to be. So. I'm gonna cast out, see what we catch. And you wanna, when you're fishing here, especially for the pike, you want to do a twitch like this. It's pretty successful. I've had, I've caught pike almost every cast doing this. It's a pretty nice spot. It's in the, this is early morning, I believe. It's like 6.30, I think. I believe. It is a great spot, so let's see what we can catch. And just like that, guys, we have hooked onto a fish. I would assume it's a pike, because that's mainly what I catch over here. So we'll have to reel this in and see what it is. Actually, putting up a decent fight. 11 pound line. I'm starting to reel it a little bit now. Oh, he's pulling out. Pulling out. Pulling the line out. Ooh. I have... I did do some scouting to find this spot here. I have hooked on to... I did hook on to a fish that spooled me. Took me out to like 230 or something like that. It just snapped my line. So there are definitely some big fish here that you definitely want bigger setups for. I would assume that there would be diamonds you would catch out of here. That's it going off of by I got spooled that one time with that big fish. We've almost got him in here, guys. He's all, he's about 20 feet out. Almost got him. I think this might even be a musky. I think it is. Looks like a musky. Anyway, it looks like it's got the, looks like I got the striping on it. This reel's kind of having a little trouble. I would guess it's probably around 11, 11 pounds, 10 pounds, something like that. It's still coming out. Hmm. Oh, can we get him? Yep, we got him. Cool. It is 11 pounds. Not very far off. So yeah, that's is a pretty nice one right there. That's probably round you can expect to pull out of here. I believe I have hooked onto a gold pike in here. But I, I'm not quite sure because I'm pretty sure that's the one that ended up spooling me. And we have hooked onto yet another fish just almost immediately after the other one. Just on, on the next cast. Just hit it right there. It seemed to like to bite it around 10 feet, like somewhere within that like 8 to 15 foot range like depth. As for kind of like the sweet spot is I've noticed for this spot. But we will try and reel this guy in here. It's coming in slowly. It's about 29. Should be in the boat any minute. Any second. You don't just suddenly have 
a last win and just freaking takes off. I don't think we will. Oh, yeah. Yep. So, four pound silver. Still a nice one. It's a nice little one. Nice silver. And we have hooked on to another fish. Almost immediately as the as the spinnerbait hit the water, it just went right after it. This place is just awesome. This is a pretty decent one, it seems like. It's gonna take me out to 190? Wow. It's gonna be very interesting. If we don't get spooled again. I sh probably should have heavier line. So we got him at around 30 now. He just, he was coming in steadily for the last like 80 feet. Just no fight. Just, uh, he's starting to put up a little bit of a fight. Now we got to the boat. But one thing else I have noticed while, while playing this is when you got a decent sized fish on, like when they start pulling away from you, trying to fight you, instead of just like holding down the trigger, like holding down the trigger and just putting your rod all the way up and just holding it there, I noticed you just like tap the trigger and that's 11 pound northern pike, that's a nice one. Very nice. Cool. Nice. Get him. Let's try and get another one. But yeah, um, the thing I have noticed with that is just like keep tapping the trigger on the controller, like when he starts to pull away from you. And it seems to like really help you with them pulling out less line. It's usually when you just hold like hold down the trigger, they just pull like 10, 15 feet of line out. But with just tapping it, they do like five or six or something like that. I've noticed. So maybe you could use that. It might help you catch some bigger fish. Well everybody, we have hooked into a yet another fish, which is just amazing. It's just I mean, like I said, it's like every single cast. I mean, if you come here with just a four or a five hook size spinnerbait, you just absolutely just get, just devastate the pike and the muscle. Mostly pike, but you, on occasion you will catch a couple musky like we have before. I'm gonna get him from under the boat. All right. Nice 2.3 pound northern. Like I said in my previous video with the uh, walleye at the sawmill one, I, I like to do, what I like to do is, is uh, let the lure drop to about halfway and then start reeling. It, seem, it seems to help, like it really does. I, I would highly recommend doing that. Seems to help a lot with catching fish. I always, oh, here we go. See? Yeah, got another one. Four casts, four fish, right in a row. Awesome. It's just one right after another. Just one cast, catch a fish. Next cast, catch a fish. So again, another musky here. Another tiger musky. Yes, we do. Three pounds, eighty ounce, or three pounds, eighty ounces. Nice one. We will try. Well, I mean, at this point, we will catch another fish on this cast. And there's another one. Oh, that got a little. Ooh, getting really close to breaking the line there.
Yeah, but like I said, you probably want a heavier setup than I have for this here. I would, like, almost definitely say that. But, I'm still leveling, so I'm not to the point where I can really get the super heavy stuff that would be ideal for for pike it's like what's their they go up to like what like i've seen some that go up to like 25 pounds or something like that so you definitely want more than an 11 pound line for something like that if you hook a diamond here which i would very much say you could do that here there's so many pike here wouldn't be a bit surprised if you get a couple diamond spawns and gold spawns here Get in the boat. Can't tell what it is. It's actually not a mission. Oh, geez. I guess the... Oh, the musky decided to... A lot more musky decided to move into the spot, I guess. That's a lot more than a musky decided to It actually looks like a decent one. Yeah. Almost 10 pounds, that's a good one. Awesome. That is cool. Love the pattern on them too, they're pretty cool looking. They actually look like tiger stripes. Cool. Almost instantly, we have one back on the hook. These guys love the spinner baits. Absolutely in love with them. They will not stop biting it. No matter how many of them I take out of the water. You just cannot get enough of it. Oh, come on, dude. Come on. Get in the boat. Come on, dude. Man, he's starting to pull me up again. Come on. Uh. Right, he's almost there. Almost on the boat. Almost on the boat. Almost on the boat. He's so close, and then he gets so far away. So close to get so far. You gotta be kidding me, he's right there! Oh my Dude, whenever the secure catch comes on, he just like bolts. Just calm down for dude. Take it easy for like a second thank you. It's a musky. I was wrong. It's a nice musky, 12 pounds. I think they dude, are they good? Are they, uh, is their max weight heavier than height? I don't know. But, 20 feet out, actually really making this real struggle. Is that a pike? I think it might be a pike. First pike in a decent while. Is it? Yep, it looks like it. I don't... I can't really see... Ooh, there's another nice one right next to him there. That is actually a really nice one. I might even try and back the... Well, I don't... We can try and back the boat up see if we can catch him. That looks like a nice one. Real nice one. Although, there's another one. Although it could just be close to the water. It just makes them look big. Like close to the top of the water. Ah, dude. There we go. 
pike. Almost nine pounds. Nice one. What we're gonna do? I think we're just gonna simply just back this up a little bit. Just a little bit. Weren't this many musky here when I fished it earlier. Definitely something to keep in mind. Something changed that altered the spawns of the musky and the pike here. Definitely have to keep that in mind. And we got another one. I mean, it, it's the it's the same exact time of day, early early, the mid morning, that I, when I was here catching the pike. It was a little, it was really overcast when I was catching the pike, so maybe that has something to do with it being sunny. The muskier here, overcast, the pike are here, more of the pike are here, less of the musky. There's probably something to that, I'd imagine. Because there were not this many musky here. Like I would probably catch two or three northerns before I could catch a musk before I catch a musky. Now I seem like I'm catching four or five musky before I catch a northern. I think that's a that's a northern. Four pounds per ounce. Just a little guy. We have hooked on to another one here. This one actually looks like it might be a nicer one. Most definitely. Oh, yeah. It's really making my line wind right now. All it's been a few minutes and still have not made much ground on this thing. Fighting pretty hard with this with this 11 pound line on here. Definitely gonna invest in bigger line next time. All right, guys. So he is within 30. Actually, is that a musky? That looks like it might be a musky. This might be a this might be a really decent musky. It looks really good. It looks like a really nice one. Is it a musky? It looks, it is, it is. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, now, now the pressure's kind of on because that looks like a really nice musky. Can we even possibly get the first gold on a video? Maybe? Jeez, this, this setup is really struggling right now. Come on, you can do it. Reel him in, bring him in. Wow, that is a gold tiger muskie. Let's go. That is awesome. We actually got, oh man. Well, there you go guys. Gold muskie spot right here. That is awesome. Absolutely awesome. Wow. Five minute fight. That is awesome. 16 pounds. Almost three feet long. That is a beautiful musky. Wow. <laughs> that is awesome. Ap I mean, wow. Just wow beat my personal best by three pounds a little over three pounds wow well there you go come here and you can catch this i could not have ended any other any better oh diamond but i mean that's awesome well just to reiterate this again guys right here park your boat right here Throw your line out right here. I've got, this is the rod I have. 
right here. This reel, line, hook size for a spinner bait. Throw that out here. Catch a gold musky. And I'd imagine to catch a gold pike. Maybe even diamond here. You probably want to have your setup for that though. Well guys, that has been a very exciting fishing trip. Hope you guys will check this spot out. Hope you guys will catch some big fish here. And if you like what you've seen here and would like to support me in this channel, please consider to drop a like and hit the subscribe button. And even if you're feeling even more generous, hit the notification so you know when I post a new video. And just... Yeah. That's, I, I still can't get over that gold musky. That's awesome. Well, we'll go and keep on looking for some new spots. And we'll see you guys in the next video.